Moving on to a Victorian prison arts program for Indigenous inmates, which is celebrating its 10-year anniversary with its largest public exhibition to date. Yes, the exhibition is giving the artists the chance to profit from their works while also exploring their cultural identity through art. Zali Rizmal has more. Here in Melbourne at St Kilda's Carlisle Street art space where the final touches are being made for the Confined 10 exhibition. The showcase will feature some of the works produced in the Indigenous Art in Prisons and Community program. The initiative is run by the not-for-profit The Torch offering art classes to Indigenous inmates throughout Victoria's prisons. Today we'll be hearing from two artists who are involved in making some of these works. But first, I'm joined by The Torch CEO, curator and artist, Kent Morris. Kent, so tell me, how did this program come about and, and what does it involve? Well, Sally, the program was built seven and a half years ago and it was based on the need to address the overrepresentation of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in the uh, criminal justice system. And it's built around learning about our culture and it's based individually one-on-one -on -one for men and women from so many different language groups, not only from Victoria, but from around the country. Now this year there's over 215 artworks by around 215 men and women from the program. The works are very powerful, they're very vibrant, uh, showing spiritual connection to country, to culture, that importance of connection to family. So how successful has the program been? How significant has it been for the participants? We have men and women in the program who've broken the cycle of reoffending and finding pathways into education, employment. Before I started the Torch program, I'd never been out of jail a year, you know, and this has helped me stay out. It helped me connect with my culture and knowing people like my art and I can sell it, I can do something and it makes you feel good about achieving something. Before I went to jail, I was a fully blown alcoholic. Uh, now, I wake up in the morning, instead of thinking about where I'm going to get a drink from, I'm thinking of what I'm going to put on canvas. It's a, it's a form of uh, freedom when you're incarcerated. When you get into your canvas and your artwork, you're free, you're not in that cell. In 2016, the Victorian government changed policy to allow Indigenous artists to sell their artworks while still in custody. Under the new policy, 100% of proceeds go to the artists, but they're kept in trust until they're released from prison. Most people that get out of prison, especially for Aboriginal people, we haven't got places to go and everything, but with the Torch program, they save up enough money and all that, by the time they get out, they can achieve something. I'm proud. I'm telling my story. When I got out, I had nothing. That money that I made from the Torch, from selling my paintings, helped me set up my house. And how do you see the program developing in the future? I'd like to think that we won't need this program because for 3% of the general population, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people would only make up 3% of the prison population. And the Confined 10 exhibition is on now at the Carlisle Street art space at the St Kilda Town Hall until the 27th of February. Zali Rismal reporting. That looks like a great project. Yeah, it does. It does.